Happy Pi Day everyone! Woo! So today is somewhat of a joke SciCraft episode. Um, we're not going to be building any complex machines or anything. Uh, it's just an episode 3.14 to celebrate Pi Day. So today we start at the Nether Hub and um, there's a bunch of piston bolts in the Nether Hub. Actually we filled up completely the top area and then even the lower area already has five piston bolts uh, built in it. So one, two, three and four, five. We even made a map at the bottom over here for all our piston bolts. So if someone ever gets lost, well, you can look at it. There's uh, most of these piston bolts were shown in server tours. So true SciCraft fans probably know most of them. You can try in the comments if you want to name all of them, except some of them. So maybe the gray one over here, the purple one and the red one, mostly the really long ones, these lead to double witch huts. So we haven't yet shown that because those are a pro this is a future project. It was mostly shown in streams though. Now, some of these piston bolts have names. So for instance, there's the X-Piston bolt in that corner. Uh, this one has a special name. This is uh, the Bane of Oreo or Oreo's Arch Nemesis. It was made to be incredibly difficult to fly through because Oreo is a guy on the server that likes to fly through piston bolts. So you can always bump into these um, bars on the side, fall into lava. If you ever fall on the ground, well, there's magma blocks. Yeah, it was just made to annoy him. But that is not the goal of today's episode. The goal is this piston bolt, or should I say piston bolt? Because these aren't cakes, they're pies. Uh, we, we could have used item frames, but eh, those are laggy. So <laughs> anyway, uh, the goal is to make uh, this perimeter and decorate it with as much pie as we possibly can. So I've already put the pie on the ground. And now we need to put some digits of pie in the center. So something maybe like this, uh, pi is 3.14, so three, and then point one and so on i'll make a time lapse in this episode about doing that uh, you might be wondering where this leads so this piston bolt is 1k blocks long and it leads to a jungle biome quite a large one actually the goal is going to be to make a jungle perimeter so at some point we want to build a parrot and ocelot farm uh, i know that these are two completely useless mobs but maybe at some point we need large amounts of cats or i don't know maybe a yeah, okay, parrots are completely useless. Uh, but anyway, we still need to make this perimeter uh, just for the nerdiness of it. Uh, the goal is going to be to decorate this perimeter in as nerdy of a way as we can. Maybe we should call it a pyrimeter, who knows? Um, yeah, stuff like redstone computers and just general nerdy stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go on with time lapse of this and then we'll maybe get started on the perimeter. Point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one nine seven one six nine three nine nine three seven five one zero five eight two zero nine seven four nine four four five nine two three zero seven eight one six four zero six two eight six two zero eight nine nine eight six two eight zero three four eight two I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. So I finished placing all of the uh, digits and I'm quite pleased with the result. The only bad thing is that it looks absolutely terrible on the other side, but as long as you uh, go towards the perimeter, it looks quite decent. I'm also quite displeased with the zeros. So Pi has very few zeros in the first few digits. I think the first one is at like digit 40 or 50. Uh, so yeah, I didn't really think about this true. So I, I didn't really have any way to do the zeros in a too wide fashion. If only we had vertical slabs. Uh, Mango suggested that I could use some uh, oak trap doors because 1.12 we only have oak. But unfortunately, oak doesn't really go well with acacia. In 1.13, I'll be able to use the acacia trap doors, but until then, uh, these will just stay like that. And also, I'm not sure if we're ever even going to update to 1.13. So far, it doesn't look really nice. Maybe if 1.13 is really, uh, 1.14 is really cool, then we'll update to those new features. 
none of us are really interested about um, things like tridents or fishes. We can already get those uh, fishes and tridents. Well, we don't really have mobs on the server. It's pure night and yet there's nothing over here. Mob switches are really nice. Um, now, I don't think we'll have time in this episode to do the uh, world leader. Actually, we won't. Uh, simply because it's already Pi Day today, and uh, yeah, I'm running out of time. I have to publish this, otherwise this whole thing is going to be useless. Uh, fortunately, I did have time to dig the trenches. Now, some people in the uh, streams where we usually build those world leaders have been asking why we build those trenches three wide. Uh, the reason is that we typically like to preserve the walls. So what we do to preserve the walls is that, if I can fly, um, we typically just put ice, uh, whoops, uh, not ice, um, yeah, water on the sides, so ice like this, and then we just break it. And then water has a really high blast resistance, so that stops the walls from blowing up. But then the problem is that we need two other buffer blocks afterwards to prevent the water from um, basically the blown up region from spilling in and touching that water. Because if we have water from this region that touches water from that one, um, then uh, really bad things are going to happen. So they're going to merge together and then afterwards there's really nothing you can do but remove every water everywhere. Um, the waters will just like start spilling in everywhere in the region over here. It gets really bad. Uh, now what we use to uh, stop the water from spilling everywhere over here is that we use anvils. Now the reason for anvils is that uh, they're the only blast resistant block that's really easy to mine. So they're like obsidian, they don't blow up. But there's, they're also like quite fast to mine. Um, you, we could use obsidian for this purpose, but yeah. None of us really want to spend five hours mining the whole obsidian afterwards. We typically use uh, like three high anvils like this. And the reason for that is that uh, even though the anvils themselves are blast resistance, the stone underneath isn't. So with three high, we're quite sure that there will always be some anvil left, even though they might go down a bit. Alright, I'm going to start placing all that water and anvil for uh, the rest of the perimeter. But that's going to be about it for this episode because I'm really running out of time and I have to publish this before Pi Day ends. So uh, thank you for watching guys and happy Pi Day!